Good morning. This is Pastor Jeff. We're here for our daily lectionary readings. It is Sunday, so we'll be doing the readings of what is happening at church on Sunday. This is the third Sunday after Pentecost, year A, June 18th, 2023. Our first reading comes from the book of Genesis 18. We'll be reading 1 through 15. We do have the option of extending 21, 1 through 7, but we're remaining at 15. The Lord appeared to Abraham by the mo oaks of Mom as he sat at the entrance of his tent in the heat of the day. He looked up and saw three men standing near him. When he saw them, he ran from the tent entrance to meet them and bowed down to the ground. He said, My Lord, if I find favor with you, do not pass by your servant. Let a little water be brought, and wash your feet, and rest yourself under the tree. Let me bring a little bread that you may refresh yourself, and after that you may pass on, since you have come to your servant. So they said, Do as you have said. And Abraham hastened into the tent, to Sarah and said, Make ready, quickly, three measures of choice flour. Knead it and make cakes. Abraham ran to the herd and took a calf, tender and good, and gave it to the servant who hastened to prepare it. Then he took curds and milk and the calf that he had prepared and set it before them. And he stood by them under the tree while they ate. They said to him, Where is your wife, Sarah? And he said, There in the tent. Then one said, I will surely return to you in due season, and your wife, Sarah, shall have a son. And Sarah was listening at the tent entrance behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah, they were old, advanced in age. It had ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of a woman. So Sarah laughed to herself, saying, After I have grown old and my husband is old, shall I have pleasure? The Lord said to Abraham, Why did Sarah laugh and say, Shall I indeed bear a child now, now that I'm old? Is anything too wonderful for the Lord? At the set time I will return to you in due season. And Sarah shall have a son. But Sarah denied, saying, I did not laugh, for she was afraid. And he said, Oh, yes, you did laugh. Our psalm reading is from Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise to the Lord all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come in to the presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. Is it he that made us? And we are his, we are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. For the Lord is good, his steadfast love endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. Our second reading comes from Romans. 5, 1 through 8. Therefore, since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have obtained access to the grace in which we stand, and we boast in our hope of sharing the glory of God. And not only that, but we also boast in our suffering, knowing that suffering produces endurance. And endurance produces character, and character produces hope. And hope does not disappoint us, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. For while we were still weak, at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. Indeed, rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, Though, perhaps, for a good person, someone might actually dare to die. But God proves his love for us, in that while we were still sinners, 
Christ died for us. Our gospel reading comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 9, verse 35, through chapter 10, verse 8. We have the option of extending once again to verses 9 through 23, but we'll stop at verse 8. Then Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and curing every disease and every sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to the disciples, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, ask the Lord of the harvest to send out the laborers into his harvest. Then Jesus summoned his twelve disciples, and they gave him authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and to cure every disease and every sickness. These are the names of the twelve apostles. First, Simon, also known as Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector, James, son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, Simon the Canaanite, and Judas Iscariot, the one who betrayed him. These twelve Jesus sent out with the following instructions. Go nowhere among the Gentiles, and enter no town of the Samaritans, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, proclaim the good news. The kingdom of heaven has come near. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out the demons. You received without payment. Give without payment. And here ends our readings for the day.